It's been a minute since my last video, hasn't it? Yeah. A few months ago, I uploaded a video where I recreated Mr. Beast thumbnails, and you guys really seemed to enjoy this video. So I thought today we'd do something similar. So basically, we're going to take inspiration from Mr. Beast's thumbnails and then create some like ridiculous titles uh, just to make fun of it a little bit. Because you gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. So what I did is I asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas for offensive or ridiculous Mr. Beast thumbnail ideas. I really like this one where it said, last to survive a shark tank gets $50,000. So basically I'm going to take this idea and create a thumbnail, a Mr. Beast style thumbnail for that video. So the first thing I'm doing here is just finding ideas, right? So I got a couple images of uh, some ocean. I got an image of Mr. Beast. I got an image of this guy falling. Right, and then I have this image of this shark. I might change it. I might change it. So yeah, right now I'm just trying to figure it out. Just putting different images together. Just throwing stuff out there to see what works and what doesn't until I get a real inspiration. Until the wheel starts, starts flowing. I got the idea to put uh, maybe a faraway island or a cliff or maybe both in the very background of the thumbnail. I think that'd be nice. Okay, and now I think I got a very good sky. I think this this could do it. Okay, so now I think I have all my elements down. I might change the shark, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I have all my elements down. So right now I'm gonna go in and start compositing. Start making everything fit together. So right now I'm just going through, um, making some masks, cutting out the, the sky and some images, just trying to make everything fit together. I like where I like where this is going so far. I like where this is going so far. So right now I'm using a brush to add kind of like the foam at the bottom of the island and at the bottom of the cliff. I think this adds some realism. Okay, now I think it's time for the shark. Okay, this shark, man. Yeah, I'm changing the shark, y'all. I'm changing the shark. I, I I don't like it. I don't know. There's something about it that maybe it's the angle. I'm changing the shark. Okay. Um. Okay. I think I found I think I found an image that works. I think I found an image that I like. So I'll go with that one. Okay, so I found a good placement for the shark. Now I just have to make it look like it belongs there. So I, basically it's kind of like jumping out of the water. I need to make it look like it's in the water. First off, I'm gonna start with the foam, right? I think already this does a good job. Woo! <laughs> already, this looks all, this looks good already. Yeah, then I'm, I think now I'm just gonna add some shadows maybe, maybe color correct it. Let me do something about those teeth. I'm gonna whiten, whiten the teeth, right? That's the thing in Mr. Beast thumbnails, the teeth are always white. It's just super white. I think these are the whitest teeth I've ever seen a shark have. Um, now I'm just gonna color match it a little bit more. And I think I'm going to add some highlights. You need the highlights in the Mr. Beast thumbnail. You, you, you just need the highlights. It's like a signature thing at this point. All right, something that's missing is, well, this looks good. I think this looks good, but something that's missing is it doesn't look like he's actually jumping out of the water. It looks like his head is just floating there. So I'm going to add water splashes. You know when uh, when you see those videos of a dolphin jumping out of the water, the water just doesn't stay still, right? There's water splashes. There's a bunch of stuff. So right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna look for a water splash. Uh, yeah, I found a good one. This should work. Uh, I just need the the water splash. I don't need the the, the ocean. I don't need the sky. So uh, I'm not sure how to do this in Photoshop. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this image into After Effects. Okay, so right now basically what I'm doing I'm going to isolate uh, the water splash because that's the only part that I need. All right, now I'm bringing it back to Photoshop and then I'm going to color match it. Okay, this looks good. Then I'm gonna add some highlights on it because some parts are gonna be wider than other parts. And then I'm adding some more ripples to the water. I think like this is good. I think this looks good. Let's add, okay, now let's add Mr. Beast, right? So this Mr. Beast image is already, uh, it's already been Photoshopped, okay? Um, so there's not much that I need to do with it. I'm just gonna add some highlights, maybe some more shadows, you know? Yeah, all right, that looks good. Now let's add the falling person. Okay, so this guy, he's just falling in the mouth of, uh, of the shark, right? So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add shadows. Let me add some shadows and highlights on the face and on the body, on the clothes, on the jeans and the jacket. 
Yeah, awesome. I think I'm gonna change the color of his jacket. Something that Mr. B said works very well in um, thumbnails is the color green. Well, he also said the color red and blue, but I feel like there's already enough blue in the image and the skin tones are, are kind of reddish. So to me, that counts as the red tones, but I want to add some green, right? That's right. So uh, I'm going to make his jacket green. This, yep, yeah, I think this is good. I think this is good. Okay, let's keep going. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not really well organized here. And here's the tip for you guys. Always organize and name your layers because if you're doing something really, uh, really uh, layer heavy, like a Mr. Beast thumbnail, you, you can get lost pretty quick, right? So I'm just gonna take a break and group my layers, name them, just, just some housekeeping stuff. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is Control Alt Shift E to create, uh, merge all the layers into a separate layer, just into one image. And I'm gonna add a uh, camera raw filter. Usually I do this at the very last step, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Gonna add some clarity, some texture, some saturation, some shadows. Yeah, this this looks this looks good. We're not done yet because we need text, right? Mr. Beast always has text on his thumbnail. Not always, that's not true actually, but most of the time he does. And since this is kind of like a challenge, I want to add some text. So let me do that. It took me a minute to find the right font that Mr. Beast uses, but I think I finally found it. It's called Obelix Obelix Pro, just in case you're wondering. Boom! I think we're finished. I think we're finished. All right. This is what I have. This is what I, I made. So um, be honest, if you saw this thumbnail, would like does it make you want to click on it? That's if the answer is yes, then I've successfully completed the mission. Just leave me a comment in the comments below. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I've been at school. I've been doing some photography on the side. It's uh, it's been tough. It's been busy. But I really want to be back. I see that you guys like those Photoshop videos. So I definitely want to keep doing them. So get this video to uh, <laughs> a lot of likes, right? Leave comments, make sure to share it, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know uh, what other types of videos you want to see. It's, uh, it's really good to be back. Hopefully it's uh, for the long run. And uh, yeah, God bless y'all. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.